Okay, in this video, we're going to put this dual function tool that's both a tire inflator with a dual uh, compressor and a jump starter all in one tool. We'll put a timestamp so you can skip to which one you want to check out. Links below. Get one for yourself. We love it. Hey, friend, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Also, we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. And then we started adding timestamps. So a lot of the videos you can jump around and get right to the information you want. And then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language. Enjoy the video. Well, I'll tell you, it's funny things we do to test products. So I have been driving around for about two weeks now with a battery waiting and the tools and everything change it. But I've been waiting just so I could test out this dang charger as a jump pack. So let's go see if it saves the day because as you'll see here, Okay, it finally fully died. Let's see if I can get my window even down. Okay, get that down, but I just don't have enough juice to start it. So let's turn that off. Okay, let's see if this jump pack will do the trick. If not, I got a battery waiting. So let's see if I can also do this one-handed. Okay, you saw me doing lots of videos on this. So let's get set up. As you can see, it has the tire pump. Let's see if I can. I don't need anything else out of it. All I need is this. And if it's like the other model, I also will not have to turn it on. It'll just do its jam. So let's get on to the right. Where do the leads go on this one? Ooh, engine start. It's on the side on this one. Oh, I hate doing stuff one-handed. I should have thought to put a dang tripod in there as well. So we have this square and around well I can't risk dropping this so give me one second here to just plug it in all right we got that part of it done anyway so let's see what happens when how can I position this get enough of a bite from the other model we know that we needed that to turn green now I'm seeing that turning green let's see if this baby will start come on baby I don't want to be stranded yeah 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 great great job okay all right, now that I have found my opportunity to prove that this thing works, I'm gonna put that battery in and quit worrying about this thing. That is super, super rad that I can get home and I'm not stuck. So, you be awesome, thank you. I'll make sure to have a link below on this. This is definitely our official product now to be both our jumper and our air compressor. Way cool tool, save the day. Awesome, get one for yourself. All right, we finally get an opportunity to test the UB uh, air compressor jump starter. You've seen me do the other video on the jump starter here. And now we got a, a flat tire. I want to move this trailer I just bought. Yes, I know I got to do some wheel bearing maintenance, but I just want to get this moved out of the way for right now. And I just thought I'd grab uh, one of my traditional trusted gauges to show this tire is completely flat. I'm actually surprised it doesn't look a little more flat on the rim, but... Um, but yeah, let's fire this thing up and, uh, and get it going here. So if you remember from the introduction video, this thing comes with not only an air compressed your tires, but it's also your jump starter as well. Super, super rad. But this video, we want to air some tires and looking through here, I'm reminded it comes with some accessories too for the air compressor. Pretty cool. But these are really simple. I'm just going to take my air hose here and thread it in. like so yep 
And don't need a wrench or anything else. You just get it in there basically just hand tight and then you could check for leaks. I don't know if there was an O-ring on there. I wanna check. Uh, there's a seal down inside, so that's cool. I was really expecting to see an O-ring right there, but hey, if it seals it on the face, great. That also create that little rubber cushion as you're tightening it in where you'll feel like, yeah, okay, it's good. Might make it last a little longer too here. Okay, so I'm just kissing that by hand. I go ahead here, turn this on, and then I hit the mode button there. So it's saying that the last time this was set up, you could see it's on a car. You could toggle through these and, and actually decide to preset some settings here. So if I go through here, you see it's on a motorcycle there. You could make it a bicycle. You can make it your boat. There's basketballs and stuff if you wanted to have all this, you know, like your inflatables. It's super cool here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the car. I'm going to look at this one here and see if I can see a tire rating on here. Typically run these, I think, around 35. This tire's garbage, too. This tire is actually a wrong size. When I brought this trailer home, it smoked the fender. So I'm going to go ahead and from flat... I'm gonna put, let's see, I can't even read it here. We are a maximum of 50 PSI. Man, that is hard to read, so. Oh, must time out. That's good. It won't let your battery just sit there and do nothing. So I'm gonna go 35, and we'll see how long this takes to get to, oh, that's kind of cool. You could set it in the case. I always kind of hated my other one like banging on the ground. The other thing I love about this model is this is much longer of a line. My other one was really short and it would sit and vibrate on there and I think it kind of beat itself to death. So let's find out what happens here. All right, the results are in from a completely flat tire to 35 PSI, so you could drive down the road. This took just under four minutes, three minutes and 58 seconds. Pretty impressive just from having used multiple versions of these. I will say that if you can afford the space, the double pump is a lot faster. If you're carrying this on a motorcycle, you might want to get the smaller version of this, but uh, especially for ATVs, side-by-sides, cars, trucks, you know, boat trailers, things like that. I couldn't even imagine not having this double pump version. It pumped it up pretty dang fast from a completely flat tire. I just turned the volume down so you wouldn't have to be annoyed with it in the video, but I'll speed it up and put a little timestamp in there. Great unit. Super to have them here using this product on the channel. More videos to come as we need it in the future. As always, links in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Make it a great day and keep wrenching. Hey friends, we're super excited to announce that the How to Wrench channel has been approved for memberships. What's that mean for you? What would it look like if you could get member-only content? Many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you missed the old deep dive long videos and the, the real explain content. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do-it-yourselfers. I mean, really people from all over the world, over 200 countries are using our content to get a deep understanding to help themselves or to advance in their career. Well, those videos are coming back. That's the kind of content that's gonna go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're gonna get the deep dive videos. Two, you're gonna get access to streams and live chats to where you can actually call in ask questions and get answers on the spot and have a, a back and forth Q&A session with other members as well. We're super excited about that. And with the member, channel, it's going to really make it more intimate. We're going to be able to bring that back into more of a community instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots. This community has always been about helping each other and getting those answers to the questions we need. You got to remember, I love YouTube too. When I want to learn, it's quite often learn something that I'm trying to do. So we love that we can do this for you as well. And we just want to make this 
of a community that is more attentive. So we want to be more relationship focused. The other thing is, you just this, I think it's kind of funny, but we're doing the emojis. So if you're a new member, it's going to be a green one. We kind of went along the lines of like a training does in most uh, certification programs. Bronze is your entry level, a silver is your middle of the road, and then gold is your you know top certified. But we added one more. We added a red one just to say, hey, thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while. So for all you that love stuff, hey, it's there for you. Um, what else are you going to get with this? What you're going to get is really honestly, in, in my opinion, it's really a way just to say thank you. We've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg, if you will, but to try and encourage and remind people that, hey, I, I got a full-time job. Like I do, it costs a lot to be able to do all this and we really do need your help to offset some of that. So this is a way for you to really easily and create that, you know, like I said, that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need. So with that being said, I hope this has caught your attention. Look at the options below on the join. You hit that join button, it'll tell you what tier, what works best for you. We're already gonna start moving forward, making content that's member only. So I hope that you're working on something that's making you smile or that you get or that's making you money. So we're going to get back at it. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.